Hey guys, how are y'all doing on this beautiful Friday afternoon? We're out here in Pace again. Not in Ashley Plantation though, like we normally are when we're in Pace. We're in a couple other places, but we're in Ashley like 90% of the time we're in Pace. I just had the name of this neighborhood right on the top of my head, but then I lost it. Sorry guys, you'll never know. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you when I get back to the truck. We're just getting finished up out here, getting all our posts in the ground. This is a 200 feet, roughly 200 feet of uh, stockade, not stockade, 200 feet of shadow box with uh, a little stretch of 20 feet of stockade in the back of it. That's where I am right here. This is the back of it. That's a, a pre-existing neighboring fence, and here's a much older pre-existing neighbor fence. And I'm just tamping up. See me tamping? Tamping up the last bit of the the last two posts we have to set here. We just finished up there in the driveway. This is one of those places where the we cut holes in the driveway, and uh, the fence is gonna like run across the concrete instead of uh, coming around the front of the driveway. That's actually why I'm setting these posts here last thing because I wanted to make sure I had we're running a. We had like just enough concrete to finish everybody and I wanted to make sure I didn't go a little short up there on the driveway because there uh it's in the concrete so I'll show you that in a minute but it's in the concrete so when I put concrete around my post I needed to come right up perfect to the top of the driveway and smooth it all around so it looks just like looks just like the driveway I mean the posts were there before you poured the driveway Always make sure you're plumb. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed. I'd be right there in the middle of a movie and just walk away from the post, not even plumb. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be funny at all. <laughs> I'll take you over here and uh, that's that neighboring fence again, painting around this way. See, that's the guy behind us. And then right over there, you'll start to see my material and... Uh, our fence post running up that side. We got a long run up the side that, <clears throat> let's come over here. We got a long run up this side over here that uh, makes a 90 degree turn and runs back into the house. Pretty much like they always do in a backyard, right? They always run up the side and go back to the house. <laughs> and this place also has uh, two double drive gates pretty much the standard operation over here on this side of the house, but <clears throat> on the other side it looks cooler. We got brick pavers that were in the way and driveways that were in the way and we just cut everything out of the way that was in the way. Now there's nothing in the way. See we got our 2 by 4s laid out on the ground there. As soon as we come back to this one Monday we can nail those boards out, lay out our pickets and take off. They'll have a new fence in no time. They just got a new pool. This is the double drive, what you call it, the, the double drive front on the other side of the house. See our power box, right behind the power box. Big six by heavy. Ten feet over, another big six by heavy. And then there's the corner. I always like to show you long long straight line of post. Can you see them? That is a long straight line of post back there. We'll ease on over here to the other side of the house. <clears throat> over here on the other side it's a lot cooler. See it was a much smaller front, I mean a much smaller run. Let's see the neighboring beep, neighboring fence right there. We come just inside of it, not inside of their fence, but just inside the yard there step in so our poster in these people's yard and we uh meet up right next to them you can see there it comes up like 18 feet and then makes that 90 degree turn across the driveway here and that's why that's why i was pounding holes in the driveway right there y'all needed to be done see the ac unit over there the fence is coming right in front of that <laughs> right in front of that ac unit behind their garbage cans and it just would not have worked out. If we put the fence, we could have put the fence back here behind the driveway, but then it would have, it would have had this ugly little box turn silly thing. See, we would have had to come down, 
right here to the AC unit. Then we'd have had to put a post here, turn box around the AC unit, and then come in this way. And, and we were thinking, the, the customer said, it sure would be nice to go straight across the driveway. And boss man said, oh, they know how to do that. Yeah, he always says that. Yeah. Give you a close up there. The concrete looks a little dry right now, but it's soaking wet about an inch underneath that. And then I put some dry concrete around the top of the post and finish it off with a two by four. Then you just give it a little while and it looks just like this one. That's all that moisture underneath the uh, the dry concrete working its way right up into it. I don't do much uh, concrete or masonry work, but it looks awful nice. And come over here, I really like this. I haven't done any, um, uh, I've cut tile once or twice, but I haven't done any cutting, what are these things called? Landscape bricks. Pavers. Yeah, pavers, brick pavers, that's what they are. But check out the fitment, guys. She's mint. That is a minty fresh brick paver fence post installation. The brick pavers were already here. I just came in and took up a big old spot, moved them all out of the way. We dug a hole, put our post in, cleaned all the dirt up that we had here, and laid the pavers back. Then when I got here to the post, just marked around the post and cut it with our handy little our handy little side grinder blade I like so much. We cut a lot of concrete with that handy little side grinder blade. Or we don't really cut a lot of concrete, but when we have to put a hole in the driveway, it cuts a lot of concrete. <laughs> For the most part, we don't have a whole lot of uh, mason rework. But I like that. That looks pretty good. That is my favorite thing there after we have to, uh, it kind of sucks to put the holes in the concrete, but I sure like how it looks afterward when everything's nice and finished off and level and beautiful. I enjoy that. And I'll get to show it off to everybody on YouTube. Look both ways for you cross the street. Or you get run over in a movie. <laughs> that about wraps it up out here. I just got to put my stick back and lock everything down and I believe we're good to go till Monday. So y'all have a good one. I'll see you later. Appreciate you watching and all that. Peace.